and welcome back guys this is my nostalgia reactions for toy commercials of 1985 it's uh around the hol it's holiday season uh thanksgiving hasn't happened yet guys so fucking keep your christmas shit out of my goddamn fucking neighborhood and off the tv and out of fucking walmart it's not fucking thanksgiving yet at least wait until thanksgiving's over but since we are in that um that neighborhood of the holidays and whatnot, I figured I'd do toy commercials. So, you know, celebrate Christmas. Yay, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. I've never liked Christmas. Well, I used to like Christmas when I was a kid. But once I realized around middle school age, maybe even a little before that, that Christmas was just basically one up in someone uh, with presents and uh, presents, gift wrap, and fake love, I could give a shit. Outside of my immediate family, I could, I could give a shit. So, if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the notify bell for uh, new content, and check out my Facebook and my Twitter. Hobby Job Reactions, Facebook.com, and at Hobby Job Reacts, H O B B I E. I misspelled it wrong, so you don't have to. Uh, excuse me. Maybe you'll leave a comment about me belching on mic, or maybe you'll leave a comment about me misspelling hobby, or maybe you should leave a comment about me not liking Christmas. I don't care. Just leave a fucking comment. And if you don't like what I do, I am not sure why you're here. But again, leave a comment. Thundercats will be back after these messages. Thundercats was my jam. Until there was, I forget what episode it was, but there was an episode I was over at my aunt's house. And we was watching it. Me and my cousins were watching it. And Lionel was in some hot water or something. He was going to get boiled alive. And I freaked the fuck out in front of everybody. Oh my god. I think that was the last time I watched Thundercats. But yeah. I cried like a little bitch. Because Lionel was going to get killed. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Thundercats. Oh. I, I believed. Now, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. The Horde Slime Pit. A what? A slime pit. Now, fight for your mind, slave. Not the slime. Yes, my slime will overpower you. That looks like some snick, a sticky ass snot like slime. It's been slime! No one escapes the evil horse slime pit! Yeah. The evil horse slime pit, new from the Master of the Universe, you put it together, action figures be so certain from Mattel. A little bit of magic happens when you give my child its first kiss on the nose. Perhaps my child will start to take an interest in butterflies. Or music. Or climbing trees. Maybe she'll take her very first steps. Or travel very, very far. But the one thing my child will always do is be your child. My child. And we wonder why we're in such a kid-obsessed, uh, kid-obsessed culture nowadays. This was back in 1985. That was when I ate 2, 83, 84, 85. That's back when I was only three. They get worse in some of the 90s ones I've seen. But yeah, we wonder why we're such a kid-obsessed uh, culture now. And look at these commercials from the 80s. It's like, oh, you gotta have kids. Look at my child. It's your child. Yeah, yeah. From the hill, oh. the See? Babies. 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 See? See? Prove my point without me saying anything. Wide-eyed and frisky, but when they get sleepy, bottle teddy. They're so peaceful. Ponies, new baby ponies. How are they holding stuff? Ponies don't have thumbs. Ponies, baby ponies have teddy pie eyes. I love the way their eyes open wide when they wake up. And I love the way they close their eyes and make it sleepy. Sleep tight. New baby ponies with Betty by eyes comes with what you see here from Hasbro. The Breaking Bell! And the Beatles are wrestling! They're both fun! I had one of these. These things were amazing. Until it broke. And I'm pretty sure I broke it because it fell down some stairs. But these motherfuckers could go over just about anything. And I had one of these, and it was badass. I vaguely remember this. They're probably back in 86, 86 or 87 when I started really having memories. But yeah, I had one of these. Not not the elephant. Not the elephant. The, the toy car they're getting ready to show. It was pretty cool. It climbed over just about everything. It comes across like a crossbow. 
Cosmos. The two-fisted 4x4 that's not afraid to cross the danger line. Nothing comes across like a Cosmos. Cosmos carries its own automatic bridge to climb and conquer anything. Nothing comes across like a Cosmos. 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 Batteries not included. Another power machine from the loop. Blue Jumping on the uh, jumping on the um, uh, Transformers bandwagon here, ain't we? You control their appearance, but no force in the universe can contain the power and the fury of Rock Lord. Shaking, quaking, crashing, breaking, Rock Lord. Powerful He's sold separately new from Tonka. Larry, Cobra Commander no longer has the ability to lead. Destro and Dr. Mindbender comb the tombs of the most evil leaders in history and from their genetic tissues produce a composite clone. The Ultimate Cobra Emperor, Serpentor. Introducing Serpentor, the Ultimate Cobra Emperor. Serpentor! Serpentor! The most evil clone of G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe! Cobra! Cobra Emperor comes with their chariots. Gobots. They came by land, by or or transformers, as we as we started to call them. See and through the air, super Gobots, guardians and renegades prepared for battle. Razor, Spy Hour, Croc, and Super Duper, seeking vamp, knife right and clutch. Fighting robots, fighting vehicles, robots. Super Gobots. Toys that Toys that spawned a cartoon, just like Transformers, and I'm pretty sh no more. Ghostbusters was a cart was a movie first, but still, you know, still you had Transformers and GI Joe, which were, which uh, spawned car uh, cartoons as 20, 30 minute commercials for their toys. Hydro Sled and Cobra and Joe figures each sold separately. Yeah, That kid is dressed up like an adult, like a super adult, like like a posh adult. Again, we wonder why we're so age obsessed and kid obsessed and obsessed with our looks and everything. Again, babies, majority for girls, but babies. That's why we're so obsessed with babies nowadays. One is a wing, one is a warp. There's even a stroller to wear some cords. Sweet secrets, always something new, hiding inside for you. Sweet secrets locked by baby, each sold separately from Galoo. Meet the new glow friends. Bug Bug likes to read. Bug Bug likes to dance. Here comes Gun Bug. <laughs> Bedtime. They're glowing. The new glow friends keep <laughs> sold separately. So much like from play school. I don't think I had these when I was a kid. I don't, I don't remember these at all. But then again, I was born in 82, so I was only like 3 in 85. There's something out there. Something you can't escape. And it's rocketing right toward you. Space Hulk, the robot interceptor. Convert the Starship Crasher. We're going hunting. Guardian and Renegade attack ships with star shattering power. Renegade, Space Hulk, and the Viewfinder. Hair Stunner. Guardians. Keep the hunting with you. You can run, Psycho, but you can't hide. Fire. Space Hulk and Cobots each chose separately from Tonga. <laughs> Ooh, my little pony. And 
no, I'm not a brony. I know, I didn't care for my little ponies. I still don't. I was just being sarcastic. Wouldn't that be a Pegasus? Wouldn't that be my little Pegasus? Just saying. My little Pegasus, my little Pegasus. I guess Pegasus was, I guess Pegasus had too many syllables. I think I just realized something as a kid watching these commercials. I, I still kind of do it, but I did kiss on a lot of my uh, stuffed animals and whatnot. I think it's because of these stupid commercials. Like every time you turn around, they're kissing. They're, oh, my little pony. Mwah. Oh, my little kid. Mwah. Oh, my. Mwah. Yeah, I would die. Weird. Weird. Here we go, an actual Transformers commercial. More than meets the eye. Of course they're sold separately. You gotta buy multiple Transformers to make the big Transformer. That's how they get the monies. Spike and friends, can an item that wear transform reflected patches? Okay. Transformers, in the Transformers Rises in the Skies game, everyone's a winner. I got a free reflective patch. Superior. Omega Supreme. And eight more, and your patch may disguise an instant prize, like a party with life-size Transformers or electronic. It's a lot of patches on those kids. A lot of patches on those kids. Voice changers. Or Transformer action cards. Get Transformer reflective patches and game details free in specially marked packages from Hasbro. Got a secret treasure to keep safe? You can keep it in a keeper. Like, like they didn't see him. Like they didn't see him. Maybe they didn't, but like they didn't see him. I remember these things. These things were still popular, probably I think in the in the early nineties. But yeah, they they were they were around still. He could have just threw it against the wall and broke it. I'm just saying, it's made out of plastic. Most little boys would have did that. I would have when I was a little kid. I'd have just been like, oh, you got the key? Smash. It's open now. Autobots, this is our new city, Metroplex. It can transform into a battle station and then transform again into the gigantic Metroplex himself. This is the future, yours to create and control with Capsella. See through capsules come together in a snap. Motors turn. First time I've seen Capsellas. Uh, I've never seen these before. Let me know if you guys have seen these in the comments, because uh, I've never seen these before. Let me learn. Gears mesh. Build a solar station. Design a rover to explore the unknown. Invent a space age submarine. And now, Capsella's 17 function computerized remote control. An infrared wireless keyboard that programs up to 94 commands. Now the future is yours to create and control with. It's definitely the 80s with uh, robots and everything. Capsella. Mom, your grandma, twin. Yeah, they just arrived. Introducing Cabbage Patch Kids twins. It doesn't happen very often. Congratulations, oh, Frank. We just heard. They're okay. so cute. What's your name? This is Emma Lowe and this is Anna Marie. Again. No wonder we're no wonder kids and no wonder people nowadays are so child obsessed and I want kids now when I'm thirteen or fourteen or twelve or eleven or 22 or whenever I can't afford them or ever it just yeah and yeah I don't know don't know why no
those kids look terrible. Those kids look terrible. I know they're Cabbage Patch kids, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But still, no wonder. No wonder we're all just... Anna Blue is a chubby one. That's Diana Marie. How is my Diana Marie? That's Emma Lowe. This one was in Grown Ups. The Cabbage Patch Kids wins. They arrive together with special adoption papers. The battle continues. Spies! Spies! the future in your hands? Will the evil Terracars be able to destroy the Protectons and rule the future? We have you control. Who puts the future in your hands? Who gives you robots? Robotics are 1500 comes with what you see here. Batteries are included. R 1100 sold separately from the brand. Never seen it. Ready, set, go. The uh, the uh, quality on these is YouTube, not me. These these. Uh, apparently, someone someone forgot to track. Someone didn't set their tracking right whenever they was uh, whenever they was recording these or something. I don't know. Just tracking. The Super GT Snow Race is on. Jump on the Nova Super GT Snow Racer. Take the steering wheel, check the brake, and get ready for all the speed you can handle. The Nova Super GT Snow Racer is built tough to take all the action. If it were any more fun. You need a driver's license. The Super GT Snow Racer by Nova. Some assembly required. And now, let's return to the Thundercats. That was fun. That was fun. Those were those were some crazy commercials, some crazy toys. Uh, if you like what I did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to, leave a comment. If you like me enough, you can... Uh, Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Links will be in the description along with a link for this video so you can watch it without my ugly mug. And if you don't like what I do, leave a comment.